no one should be a judge in his own case. Nemo Jude in Ritwa. So now, are the banks reaching the basic safeguards of natural justice when they are resorting to Parade institutions? Now, when this, this matter was taken into consideration, when a determination, the Supreme Court had a special determination when originally the recovery of loans by banks, special provisions bill was presented. That was in around 1990, it was a special determination, 2 of 1990 and 3 of 1990. The mortgage Amendment Bill, that is Act Number no. Three of 1990, which later became Act Number no. Three of 1990, and the Recovery of Loans by Bank Special Provisions Act, which later became Four of 1990, were taken up together. There, the history of Parate execution was traced, and there was a more what is called a mor what was called a mortgage commission in 1943, and in the, in that the procedure regarding parate was also discussed, and certain matters <laughs> were included in their report. In that, it was said that it is not desirable that a creditor should be able to have recourse to the property of the debtor without the intervention of a court. However, a limited exception was recommended in respect of parate by approved credit agency within that as defined in the Mortgage Act. Now, when this, in the same report, it was stated to confer the right of parate execution would in effect mean that the mortgagee would be the judge in his own cause upon all these questions, which are not always easy to determine even in judicial proceedings. If we were allowed, having determined this question himself, to sell the property and pass good title to the purchaser, the mortgage or would only be left with a right of action against him for any loss suffered by the reason of a wrong determination. The mortgager would then be without recourse to the land and an action for damage would afford him poor conservation. So, this was the background in which these matters were considered and the commission, the mortgage commission's uh, recommendation regarding the approved credit agencies were taken into three categories. One was the banking companies or notified by the director of commerce, it was the law at that time. Then the five specified state institutions named by statute and a residual category consisting of companies, firms and institutions and individuals declared by the director of commerce to be approved credit agents. One of the reasons for the parate to be introduced was the laws delays in mortgage actions extent of directory defenses and vexatious hindering of execution proceeds. Those were the reasons that were taken into account. It was argued by the late H.W. was an QC on behalf of the Bar Association that the excise of 
power the powers on the part of the board of directors of a bank would amount to dilute the judicial power and transfer a part of the judicial power to a non-judicial body of individuals. But there are lordships in the Supreme Court said that at that particular point of time in 1990, court pointed out that if there was such a dilution, it had already taken place many years ago when the state institutions had been bestowed with the power of Parate. Parate execution in several statutes. The Bank of Ceylon Act, that is in 1974, uh, the Amendment, People's Bank Act, 32 of 1986, uh, the NSB Act, 30 of 1971, the SMIB Act of 1970. 13 of 1975. So, the court, in other words, is a statutory determination that, that, that it is not inconsistent with the Constitution. However, at the time of determining the, the Supreme Court determination, the, the issue of third party mortgages were not raised. And the attention of court was also not drawn to it. So, from 1990, since 4 1996, the banks happily, whether it was the, the borrower, uh, came within the definition or the, and the mortgage was the same or not, the banks proceeded with part. Then unfortunately, I think the banks, I don't know who had advised it, thought they must clear the air. Now when there was no judgment, nothing, they wanted to nail down and make it 100% certain. Without letting sleeping dogs lie, the banks, what happened, brought in a bill. Now that bill was challenged in the Supreme Court in 2003. Now remember, this was before Ramakrishna's judgment. But however, it came out before the same chief judge. There, are, in that bill, the bank wanted a new clause to, to have the effect of extending the process of parent execution to instances where the property has been mortgaged by a person other than the borrower. This would cover the mortgage given by a guarantor as security for the debt of the borrower. Now, up to that time, I have not been able to find a single authority by any court of law which has decided that a third party mortgage does not attract. In fact, I know several banks proceeded with auctioning third party property. So, this was now highlighted in this bill. This particular determination is uh, SC Special Determination Number 22 of 2003. So, the first was this third party issue. Then, second, it shall not be competent for the borrower or the mortgagor or any other person claiming to them to move in any court to invalidate or annul a resolution of the board of board of the bank authorizing the sale of the land. Further, no court shall entertain such application. What does that include? Then there was another one, the right of a parent execution is extended to a syndicated loan secured by a concurrent mortgage given in favor of several banks. The provision empowers any such bank to resort to parent execution in respect of the entire amount standing. The next one. What is that any application made by a borrower, mortgage, or any person for an injunction or enjoining order against the bank, restraining the bank from taking any steps pursuant to a resolution 
to sell the property should be filed within a period of 30 days from the publication or receipt of such resolution. Time constraint. Then, uh, there's, there's something about immoral property. Then the last one was the definition of the term bank to include specialized bank, finance companies, and the housing and development finance corporation. The Supreme Court went through that and said, yes, you can. However, by special majority required under Article 84, to work the Constitution. To the bill was the decision of the Supreme Court was conveyed on the 23rd of September 2003, and the bill was not proceeded with the draft. Now then comes in this background. Now this whole process has been alerted. Comes Ramachandra's case. This, the bench which determined this uh, uh, recovery of loans, the special determination was Chief Justice Sarah Sandy Silva, Sarah Sandy Silva, sorry, uh, P. Edu Surya, uh, Justice P. Edu Surya, Justice Sekriyapa, Justice Akopati Silva, and Justice T.B. Vira Surya. Matter comes up, Ramachandra's case comes, and you know, in history now, I don't need that to tell you what happened. Thereafter, uh, there was this case of dancing over the. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, mistaken. So, with another one, there was another case of HNB 2007, one is the last that is that in his judgment, where uh, he held that uh, directors cannot hide behind the veil of incorporation of the company. Director benefited from the facilities uh, made available to the company by the petitioner bank, and to that extent, they cannot claim to be uh, third party mortgages. And that uh, basically, what his position was that the corporate bail can be lifted. So, It distinguished the case of Ramachandra because they are the mortgagers were totally different people who were not connected in that sense to the borrower. But however, in company law, the corporate will can be lifted on limited grounds. So, uh, whether the judgment of uh, Samatha, uh, HMP versus Samatha Pajaya Vodana has adequate reasons for the lifting of the corporate waves is a question which I personally feel that, that uh, there wasn't enough reasons adduced or, or set out in the judgment which uh, give what I personally feel is which adequately justifies the lifting of the corporate way. Justice Mahu, who was also a member of the bench, then comes the case of DFCC versus Mutya Paresh. Now, in that judgment, Justice Mahu goes back into the revisits to a certain extent the case which he was was also the member of the bench that heard and determined Samatha Palaja was in a case. But he differs in that case to a certain extent and holds that in Mujita Pereira's case, where even though Mujita Pereira was a director of the company and he had mortgaged the property for facilities given to the uh, company, that it still falls within 
third party. Now, in that case, Justice Maso fell. The question is whether Mudita Pareva is a borrower within the meaning of the recovery of loans by Bank Special Provisions Act No. 4 of 1990 as subsequently amended, having regard to the decision of the Supreme Court in Hatton National Bank versus Jawadhan. This is what he goes on to say. Referring to the submissions made uh, by counsel, he says, he also stated that in the case of HNP versus Jayawardena, Justice Jayasinghe has said that directors in that case had been borrowers, in fact, with Nalin Enterprises and had benefited from the loan facility. Thus, as the judgment does not reveal the relevant mortgage documents in the case, the decision would be correct if the loan mentioned in the bond of the case had been solicited both by the company and the director and had been granted to both without any restriction to the, on them to use the money in the loan. So, however, he says that there was no basis to apply the obviously narrow principle laid down in Patent National Bank versus Jayawardena and goes on to say that the Court of Appeal, which issues the interim order in that, uh, particular case that is uh, the Mushta Pereira's case. The Court of Appeal did not err in determining on a prima facie basis the purpose of considering interim relief and the appellant was not about within the meaning of the recovery of loans by bank. There are also another <laughs> point he decided was that members of the board of directors are not essential parties to a case when the resolution is challenged. So, now, as the law stands regarding karate, if the mortgage or is even a director of the company, the provisions of Act Number Four of 1990 cannot be applied. Then, the other matter which was which whittled down the powers of the bank or the whittled down the provisions of section uh, the Act Number no. 4 of 1919 was the two acts in 2011. There was confusion as to the <coughs> amount of 5 million when calculating the amount and whether it's the original amount of the loan or the balance amount of the loan. But however, as at present, the law stands as determined by the judgment of Justice Sisirati Abdu on the 28th of November 2017. Yes, in the case of Sumudu Sanjeevani Nanakkar versus Happy National Bank. <coughs> Happy National Bank used to be involved in all the main cases. He says this, after considering all the aforementioned matters, I hold that prior to the enactment of 19 of 2011, Prior to the enactment of 19 of 2011, if the original amount of the loan granted was less than 5 million, the bank cannot, in case of default, sell the property by public auction. That is, if <coughs> what is referring is prior to the enactment of 19 of 2011, if the original amount of the loan granted 
for less than 5 million, the bank in case of default cannot sell the property. Then he goes on to say, the logic goes on to say that after the enactment of 19 of 2011, if the balance amount of the original amount of the loan is 5 million, the bank cannot, in a case of default, sell the property mortgage by public auction in terms of section 4 of the act, even if the original amount of the loan was 5 million or above. So basically, even if the loan was 100 million, The balance amount is five million, less than 5 million, the property cannot be mortgaged. That is the better judge made law at the moment. And that is the interpretation their lordship has played in the in respect of in the in terms of this case. But there, I, I feel that there are various ways we can see how this uh, you know, as far as it looks, yes, it is very clear on. But there are, there can be so many issues now. For instance, if one takes the issue of if there are about two or three uh, mortgages, which each particular mortgage does not, the original amount doesn't exceed five million, but if there is default, whether the bank can go by way of karate. Now that has not been determined. Of course, I might I feel that it will depend on the wording of the mortgage one. And also if the property has been given as security for all those loans, even if the loan my personal will be less than five million, each of those loans, but in Total, if it's over 5 million, I feel the bank can go by way of party. Uh, those are matters that will have to be argued and determined, can be argued both ways. Uh, as regards to party execution, there is hardly any new developments and new trends except for the matters which uh, I brought to the notice of. Uh, the, there are few judgments which. Uh, in the case of Amaradas Ali and the versus Sampat Bank, uh, I think that that's regard, I think, uh, when the judge on the has successfully argued it in the Supreme Court, uh, yeah, minor procedural irregularities will not uh, be taken into consideration, judgment by Justice Silaka Bodhana. Then uh, also there is a judgment in the Court of Appeal, which uh, by Justice Sri. Uh, Sri Raja, CA 496 of 2011, which says that uh, uh, resolution adopted prior to 7 1 2010, that is the amendment 1 of 2011, if the resolution had been passed, that it will not attract the provisions of uh, the, the 5 million bar if the resolution has been adopted. So there are a few cases like that. Mm. Other than that, there is uh, basically why I would say, as regards to Parate execution, nothing new or has happened. So the law is very clear, third party mortgage, no Parate execution. 5 million as the law stands now, even the, if the amount which is outstanding is less, even if the loan is over 5 million, original amount. Is outstanding in less than 5 million, one cannot go by way of Parate. And if the resolution has been adopted prior to the amendment, even if the auction is taking place after, in terms of Justice Sri Shantaraja's judgment in 496 of 2011, the bank, it does not attract. So that is basically a very brief. Outview of how 